In this video, we will review the steps for turning the gas on and off for the jewelry torch. This is a handheld jewelry torch. It uses a single cylinder of acetylene gas. To begin, we should check to make sure the valve on the torch handle is closed. It should be finger snug in the clockwise direction. Next, check the regulator. The regulator controls the gas pressure by an assembly consisting of an internal diaphragm and valve plug. As the screw tightens, the diaphragm is pushed downwards and the valve plug opens, increasing the amount of gas released. Opening the cylinder with the regulator set to full pressure can cause damage to the diaphragm and become dangerous. To prevent this, look at the T-handle adjustment screw. We want to make sure that some threads are visible and that the T-handle is not fully tightened. If the screw is fully tightened, turn the T-handle in the counterclockwise direction approximately three revolutions. Most likely it will be set to the correct pressure and will not need adjusting, but this is an important step to know. Now we will open the gas cylinder. Acetylene cylinders come with two types of shutoff valves, valve stem and hand knob. The valve stem is a square peg protruding from the top of the valve assembly. To open a cylinder with a valve stem, you will need a tank key. The tank key is a small, specially designed wrench with a matching square opening. Never use pliers or other wrenches to open a valve stem. If the stem becomes damaged, the tank becomes inoperable. Do not stand in front of the regulator while opening the cylinder. Stand to the side opposite of the regulator. Place the tank key over the valve stem and rotate the key in a counterclockwise direction. Open the valve about a quarter of a turn. The valve does not need to be fully open to provide full gas pressure. To open a cylinder with a hand knob, simply rotate the hand knob in a counterclockwise direction a quarter of a turn. When the valve is opened, we will see the regulator gauges pressurize. The first gauge directly off the valve is the cylinder pressure. This shows us how much gas we currently have in the tank. B-size cylinders typically read 250 PSI when full and should be changed out at 25 PSI. The other gauge reads the regulator delivery pressure and what is being fed into the torch line. These handheld acetylene torches operate between 7 to 10 PSI with 9 being optimal. Never operate over 15 PSI. Use the T-handle to adjust the PSI. Turning the handle clockwise opens the diaphragm and valve plug, thus increasing the pressure. Turning the handle counterclockwise closes the diaphragm and valve plug, decreasing pressure. Note that when decreasing the regulator pressure, you will not see a drop in the gauge pressure while the valve on the torch handle is closed. You must open the valve and bleed off excess gas until the gauge normalizes. At that point, we are able to adjust pressure until we reach the desired PSI. The torch is now ready for use. When finished for the day, the gas cylinder must be shut off. To turn off the valve, use the tank key to rotate the valve stem clockwise until the valve is closed. Do not over tighten, finger snug is adequate. For the hand knob valve, simply turn in the clockwise direction until closed. Finally, open the valve on the torch handle and drain the hose of any residual gas. You will see the tank pressure drop to zero, followed by the regulator pressure dropping to zero. Shut off the torch handle. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the acetylene torch or the gas cylinders, be sure to ask your instructor or a TechSpark staff member.